I'd like to make it clear on behalf of everyone at the club, our disgust with regards to the incident that took place on the Paris subway on Tuesday evening. We were appalled by what we saw. The club would also like to apologise unreservedly to Suleiman for the behaviour of a small number of individuals and their unforgivable actions towards him. We have been cooperating fully with the Met Police and Paris Police in their ongoing investigation, and we will continue to do so. We have also been conducting our own investigation, and all information from that is being shared with those police forces. We announced last night that we have suspended three individuals from Stamford Bridge, pending the completion of our investigation. Should, ev should evidence show that they are guilty in that incident, then the club will ban them for life. It is only right that we complete our investigation to establish all of the facts of that evening. But we have taken swift and decisive action on the information we have received so far. The people involved in that incident in Paris do not represent Chelsea Football Club. They do not stand for the values of this club and they have no place at this club. This has been echoed loud and clear by the vast majority of Chelsea supporters. We'd like to thank the many Chelsea fans that have come forward with information in this case. We are a club that is proud of its diversity. We work extremely hard in the game and in our communities to promote equality and fight discrimination of all forms. We are proud to support the work of Kick It Out and show race and racism the red card among other organisations and we work closely with similar programmes with the Premier League and the FA and others. Now we don't intend on giving a running commentary on the ongoing investigation um, but we will update you uh, on that as we did last night when there is some, something uh, substantial uh, uh, to announce.